Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a hologram using 3D shapes. So the first thing we have to do is to add a third parameter to the create canvas which is WebGL. After doing that, we are going to make the 3D shape box which I'm going to make of 50 size and I'm going to run it. There we go, we have our box. Now let's give it a color, normal material. And run it again. The color is there, but it doesn't look like a 3D shape. So let's make an angle and give this angle inside the rotate so that when it rotate, it looks like a 3D shape. So first we, increment, uh, first we initiate the angle was zero and now we have to increment it in that row after incrementing it now just before the box we are going to write rotate x thing to remember that uh, rotate in 3d is in three parts like it's divided into x y and z uh, z rotates in three different axes uh, and separately they need to be written and uh, if you have to rotate uh, all three of them you have to write all three of them if you want to rotate in one uh, direction you can write it in one only rotate or if you want it to rotate in two directions you can do that as well now after doing this we will run and now you can see our box is rotating. Now the next bit of things which we wanted to do is we have to make uh, four of these boxes at four different uh, places, uh, up, down, right, and left directions. So for making that, the first thing we need to do is to put the box and its rotate inside the push and the pop. So these goes inside the push and the pop. After doing that, we run the program and see it remains the same. Now, after doing this, we want to uh, place it upwards. So, for placing it upwards, the only way of doing it is to translate the box. So, for translating the box, we have to remember that the y is not changing. Uh, the y is changing but the x is not changing x remains the same so we will say the x is 0 and we will say the y is uh, going upwards so let's say it's 100 so it should be oh. so for the upwards we need a minus so below it plus and upwards is uh, minus just like in uh, Cartesian coordinates the WebGL also is divided in the same way so after doing this we got our box appearing in the up position so we should write it down said this is the box which is up now the second thing we have to do is we have to copy this whole thing you can write again and again also but we will copy it and because nothing will be changed just the translate we need to change so we know that for making the box in the down position we just have to remove this minus and we can make the second box appearing in the uh, down position in the same way now let's make the right and left boxes also the thing to remember in the right and left boxes is that the, now the y remains the same but the x needs to change. So now at an equidistance we are going to write 100 comma 0. So now let's see where the box will rotate, uh, appear. It appeared on the right side, right hand of mine. And in the same way, if I write, copy the same thing now and give some space, write again. And I just have to put a minus sign here 
I should get a left hand box also. Yes, there we go. So I have the box which is appearing on the left. So just by changing the translate, you can get all the four boxes which you need. Now, after doing that, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to may increase the distance of it. So to increase the distance of it, so the hologram appear very visible uh, to us, so it becomes extremely visible to us. So we need it to get the canvas to be bigger. So I'm saying window width and window height. And when I run it, the canvas is increased. Now I will increase the uh, distance between the boxes as well. So right now it's 100. I want it to be 200 each of them because they are equally distant from each other. Now all four boxes are done. Now when we run the program, you can see the distance between the boxes is increased. Now the one more thing I need to do is I want the boxes to be uh, very visible when we are looking in the light because uh, right now uh, the light is uh, there. It's not dark uh, so I need to make it appear more visible inside the uh, hologram so for that i want the boxes to have some stroke around them so i'm giving it a stroke color of yellow so that they appear more visible and stroke stroke weight of three let's see and see how much it's it will be yeah it's uh, it seems to be fine now after doing that the next step is to use the hologram visualizer so let's do that so now as you can see this is the 3d hologram visualizer and this is easily available from Amazon and you can buy from there it's very cheap and it got three of the uh, pyramidal shape things like this plastic things and uh, they come in a squash form and then you have to make it expand it and they become like this so if I place it over here then you can see more easily it's visible so let's put this away and you can see that this is the uh, pyramid which I'm talking about and you can see the box inside it is appearing here and if I lift it up you can see there is no box in the middle but as I bring it close to it keep it on it you can see the box is appearing on it inside the visualizer so that's how you can make 3d other shapes as well you can even use the camera uh, and you can make your face appear on it and it will be a hologram on your 3d shape appearing in a hologram visualizer so it's a very fun project hope you like it and Try to make it yourself as well. See you soon.